Hello and welcome. This is just a quick tutorial about getting your QTake streaming working with all of your Mac devices like an iPhone, iPad, Mac laptops, desktops, and it even works with the Apple TV. What you're going to do is you're going to get an email from QTake itself. You're going to be able to download the app, activate your account, log into the app, and then actually start watching the stream itself. Now it doesn't matter if you have a iPad or if you've got an iPhone, a laptop, or even Apple TV, all the processes are the same across each device. Let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we want to do is open up the email from QTake that you have already received, and you will see the download QTake monitor button. Click that, and that's going to bring you to a screen it then wants to take you to another screen. Yes, in fact, it does. So to go ahead and take that, it will bring you now to the App Store. And this is where you'll actually download the QTIC Monitor app onto your device. Click Download. And then once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. And you will now have to enter an email address that you'd like to activate your account with. Go ahead and hit that, click Continue. Once you click continue, it's going to ask you for a password to use for this account. Hit the sign up button and now activation is required. This means you now need to go back to your email account and activate your account with a new email. Once you click this, it will then take you straight to QTAKE's cloud account where you enter your information to create an account in QTake. Go ahead and enter your name. You don't need to enter your phone number if you don't like. You don't need to put your profession if you don't like. Then go ahead and hit save and then that now creates the account for you inside QTake. Close out of that and now you can see you are already logged in. At this screen, you want to go ahead and just wait for the QTake operator to kind of let you into the stream. Once you're in, you could either get this input not recorded or not received, or you might actually be getting the stream itself, depending on if the camera is also getting a stream. And there we go. Now, if you need to set up a Zoom call or some other kind of meeting, you can do that in another screen. Thanks so much for watching. Now let's go ahead and have a great shoot.